How's it going, dudes? D nice. Good job, good Carly. Shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. A reporter, huh? You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Alright. So I need batteries and food so far. I need food for Clem. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not so nah, I'm yet. not good. No, uh, I mean, <coughs> I mean, I'm good. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. Uh. Yeah. About that. I can tell he's always here. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Mm. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. That's mm. a rough shape, that's all I know. Try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? Tried? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, uh, well, that's not good. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear than us, huh? Yes, exactly. I have the pharmacy keys. <laughs> I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <sighs> How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. 
by you. I grew up here. Been trying to get hmm. home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. How are you guys doing? Really, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, <laughs> we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. I'm stuck to her. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yes. Right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Now we're... But, uh... Wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Tried to save your kid, man. I was gonna say I was gonna save your kid and then save Sean and then Sean got eaten. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Didn't Satan like it? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just yeah. trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in her house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Not at all. She's lucky to have you. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. 
The Are you office? Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. Yes. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... <laughs> ...of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, dudes. Thanks for watching. Like if you did. Make sure to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye!